A tough job market has made the country's big cities an attractive option for many job seekers, among them Connecticut's most recent college graduates. In the last few weeks, many have returned home, but only for the holidays. Brantford native Nick Schoenherr never expected suburban Connecticut to be the place to find a job. Oh yeah, well, there's always jobs in cities, in D.C., New York, Boston. Everyone I know that graduated is going to those cities for jobs. So with a degree in political science from Syracuse University, Nick took his chances moving to Washington, D.C. before securing a job there. When you don't get anything, you don't get any good feedback, and you start thinking about yourself, what am I doing wrong, what's wrong with my resume, why won't anybody hire me? After over a month of searching, he eventually found a position with Pennsylvania Congressman Charlie Dent. Since then, I've been interning with that congressman in his office, um, directly under him. I'm unpaid, and uh, it is what it is, but that's the first stepping stone. That's how he started the same way. After graduating from the University of Michigan, Alex Teicher came back home to Westport, commuting to work at an accounting firm in New York. Big cities, New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, you're probably in a much better position to find uh, an opportunity. Alex had stayed in Michigan for a one-year Master's of Accounting program, but even with a graduate degree, finding a job was hard work. His advice? Well, I think ultimately you have to look at finding a job as uh, a job in itself. Uh, it's a sort of a form of work, and you have to... Uh, go at it as if it's a nine-to-five commitment at the minimum. The bottom line, persistence pays off. In Westport, Hugh Bridgers, CSB News.